So it is time for the first PL Express and PL Express every single week now will live right here. We're coming out to you on this ESPN FC live show. Make sure to join us three times a week on YouTube, Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Friday at this time from 12 Eastern. We'll be bringing you all the biggest talking points, but every single Tuesday, this is where PL Express is going to live now. My name's Kay Murray, joined again for another season and delighted to be so by Janusz Mihailik. And we're going to get straight into some of the big topics that we saw from the Premier League this weekend. The first of which, Pep Guardiola and Erling Haaland. And that little moment at halftime, Janusz, that we've been talking about where Pep came racing onto the field because even though Haaland had just scored two goals, Pep had seen something he didn't like. What did you make of it? I, I love it. At first, you kind of look at it as a former player. It says, yeah, maybe just doing this for cameras, right? But we've seen him do it all the time. And the reason I have zero problems with that is, is because, look, Kay, you've asked me this. I'm sure every television station has been talking about it, right? I mean, the topic uh, in terms of uh, can Manchester City win the title again uh, uh, was always asked, right? And one of the first answers is, well, how does how do you keep this team motivated? Well, this was one of the this was uh, one of the examples from Pep Guardiola because he's got to convince these players that they have got more to to give, that they have to be hungry. How to keep them hungry? How do keep, you keep them engaged after you win a treble? You win just about every trophy now uh, since he's been there, and a lot of the same players are there. So I I think that's part of the reason. The very first game. Yes, you're Erling Haaland. You scored a million goals, but I think you, you can score uh, two million goals. I'll give you an answer later how many he's going to score. But, but, but it seems silly, but when I try to think of it as a player, right, at first I was probably have a smirk, and I think, I think that's what we saw from Erling Haaland. It's like, what do you want from me? I mean, what do I <laughs> – but, but there's always that detail, and it stops you there because as a player sometimes I think you're coming off at halftime saying, oh, I did my job. I scored a couple. I'm, I'm good. And, and here you have your manager saying, well, you could have had a hat trick. You should have had a hat trick. Maybe you could have had four or maybe somebody else could have had another goal if your movement was this way, that way or whatever Pep was telling him. So, so I get that. I respect that. I've said it before and I'll continue to say as many that, uh, you know, he's the best manager in the world because of that. Uh, he doesn't leave anything to chance and he continues to, to challenge his players in every which way. And by the way, he's going to have to do that. He's lost two incredible players in Gundogan and Riyad Mahrez, who I think they may even miss more than Gundogan, as crazy as it sounds. And now we found out that uh, uh, Kevin De Bruyne may be out for two, three, four months. So uh, this is going to be Pep at his best again. He's going to find ways to motivate others, to make certain players play in crazy positions that in, in this moment we can't think of, but you know it's going to happen. You just mentioned Kevin De Bruyne, so let me let me pick up with that one because Guardiola has confirmed that he will be out for a few months. Obviously, as you said, the reports were saying three to four months with a hamstring injury. How big a miss is he going to be? Well, unbelievable, but, you know, again, this is going to be Pep, so he's going to find a way, and, and guess what? Uh, uh, Kevin De Bruyne probably is going to be nice and fresh and ready for the business end of the season. When it all matters, we know that Manchester City often starts slow. They didn't they, at this time, but obviously after four, five, or six games, who knows uh, how long it's going to take to kind of integrate the new team, if you will, uh, in there, and, and De Bruyne is going to be back. I mean, he's going to be a big miss, but you know what? Here's the challenge, and that challenge existed, by the way, always, before the injury to De Bruyne. Phil Foden, hey, Pep, you tell me that's the, that's the best player you ever coached, most talented player you ever coached, right? You had uh, a little messy. I want to see it. I think he's he's getting better, but I don't think we've seen the Phil Foden that we all want to see. That's going to be another great opportunity for him uh, uh, to get, get better. Uh, uh, Julian Alvarez, although not the same position, but we see him playing below Erling Haaland. He's going to have to be a, a, a player that's going to have to pitch in. And as I said, who knows who's going to be the next player? Uh, uh, by the way, there were rumors of, of Paqueta coming in even before the injury. Now I'm pretty sure that they're going to do absolutely everything to get Paqueta or play like it. And the problem solved. All right. Before we move on from Man City then, higher or lower than 36 goals this season for Erling Haaland? 
Yes, like Rob, I was going to give it lower. I was thinking differently. But, you know, I mean, Kevin De Bruyne kind of almost exclusively looks for him, doesn't he? <laughs> so he's not going to be there. Uh, he's had some injuries and it was out of form last year. And and that didn't prevent uh, Erling Allen from scoring goals slightly lower, which is still going to be unbelievable. So I'm going to go for 32. How is that? Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.